Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Etrian Odyssey. Last time, we took on the worm, also known as the great dragon in the more modern games. Okay, real quick, I want to go over this. I max the levels on everyone, so let's just quickly go over the skills. Got HP up and TP up on cooldowns for more health, because I was kind of out of other things to put in. Uh, if I had an alchemist, I would have taken only gotten to level 5 and then got Blazer Freeze and Shocker. But they're kind of not that useful on a penny like mine. So, yeah. We also have Attack Up in both Swords, Mastery, and Axes maxed out for that 30% increase to Strength and Attack regardless of weapon. We also have all slash tornado force force for early game, all slash for multi tagger, which being real, we're not really going to be dealing with anymore. So I might as well change out your equipment because yeah, MX level, we might as well just run from every fight. We also have crusher for massive single tag damage. Everything else here kind of sucks. Two hit is. Actually, no, everything else here kind of sucks. <laughs> it's just that simple. Yoda! I decided to forgo the free points in HP up for the up to upgrade the walls one more time to drain. Do not do this if you're playing along using the DS release, put them into HP up. Please, you're gonna get better use out of HP up if you do not. Because you need to, especially with Ice Wall, if you are playing the original, like, do not put Ice Wall above level 5. Because there's going to be several ice effects that can have an instant death effect. And secondary effects are cancelled on a nullified attack or level 5. But they are not cancelled on a drained attack. So you will still have that instant death chance. If you lever it, if you do not have the ice wall at exactly level 5 in the original version. Anyway, with that out of the way, we also have a maxed out defender now. Just because it's not great, but I'd like the better speed. Uh, Fortify is just worse defender. It's not really here for anything on its own. And smite because we want to hit things really hard with the shield and have Yoda have some form of DPS. Uh, in this fight, Yoda's pretty much going to be... Actually, he is just going to be spamming ice wall. We do not have time to set up Defender. We just got to spam ice wall to keep everyone safe from the instant death because it's not the breath attack that has instant death. Godless. I put two extra points into all of the elementals just to lower the cost a little. Not that useful, just something I did. We have a max out stalker just so we can not get encounters on our way to this final thing. And what we're doing next time, because next time we're getting the ultimate gear. Well, most of it. I'm probably going to have to do some farming off screen for it. We also have peace battles for TP recovery and bravery for damage boost, erasure to remove buffs. And that's pretty much all that's here that actually does anything for cool Catalyst himself. I have TP up for more attacking, bows for more damage, multi-hit in a Apollon combo. The Apollon then multi-hit to do a lot of damage. Disable, because binds might be handy? I don't actually think there's any fights where I want to bind legs, but... Yeah, I mean, I figured I might as well take it. It's kind of the best thing left. We have a newly maxed out first gen because 2 TP is just as good as 1. On to make someone go first. We have each of these just for the sake of it. And we have trickery to lower accuracy of enemies. I don't know if I'm actually ever going to use this in a serious situation. Because I've yet to see it do its job. But I took it because, well, it seems better than Disable in the moment. And Yo Bro. He has attack up for high damage. Catalyst to 
capitalize on that damage, which should hit hard now. I really hope it hits hard now. I don't have the best stat, so he's probably still going to be out damaged by Catalyst. Not Catalyst, Cool Toast. But he should still be able to do some good damage. Healing touch for touch ups outside of battle. Care free for emergency situations. Immunize to make us not die. Salve to make us not die. Revive to bring us back if we do die. Just through our several things making us not die. Unbind for binds. Refresh for status effect. Uh, healer. It just boosts his healing. Really, it's not much else. That's all we can do, though, because I don't believe we can buy a better weapon with any of the things I've turned in. Nope. No, we cannot. Well, that... I mean, I was... Wait, what? Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, no, that is... It is the second best. I wanted to double-check that. Yeah, that adds fire to the damage. Just wanted to double-check that. If whether or not I was correct in that we had the best thing, because that would kind of be better if I was wrong about that. And uh, I think the last thing I'm gonna do is buy a second fail knot. Yeah, second fail knot. I don't think it's gonna be super useful, but it'll boost his elemental damage a bit. And well, Catalyst is a dedicated elemental. Attacker. Luckily, this time, uh, there are no uh, attack buffing shenanigans we're gonna have to do. So, that's good. Oh. Oh, never mind. Okay, so it turns out that, uh, we're not gonna be spamming anti-cold slash ice wall this time around because there's something that pierces it! I forgot about that. Never mind, <laughs> we are still gonna be using it every time, but there is a way to pierce it. So that's not great, and it- oh, it still has those stupid buffs from free! Okay, this thing was the most annoying thing in the third game, but uh... Yeah... So we're still gonna need to- So what we're gonna need is, we need Electra Freeze. Just put simply, we're going to need Electra Freeze, so- Cause that will give the Yobro a free boost. So Catalyst can just keep boosting the Yobro up. I think for that third buff slot in the fight we're about to do today, we're just going to- Place a peace ballad. And probably do some shenanigans to get Catalyst back his attack. Okay, we're gonna have to start with the peace ballad. Then the attack up while also setting up my Okay, I got what we're gonna my game plan in the head. In my head. More accurately. Uh but yeah. I lost my arm to a frozen breath dragon. But I'm not the only one who's seen it. Prove it exists to me. Oh! I wrote in my notes I'm not sure what kind of arms, like if it was the weapon arms or the limb. Good to know! That chicken down, Chris. Have you good? I've been hoping someone would. Hmm, that's odd. He's not here today. I mean, I claim he's one of the regulars. Haven't you seen him, the one-armed man? I see. Well, he was an adventurer, but he lost his arm due to to a blue dragon on the fifteenth floor. Creature could summon powerful blizzards to freeze those who it who challenged it. Stood up to it, and though he lost an arm, he managed to survive the battle. And so he says, no one ever seen the blue dragon on the fifteenth floor. Very proud of fighting such a powerful dragon, but nobody will believe me. Now I can't even enter the lab anymore because of his injuries. What? Everyone thinks he's a liar. He's tend to drinking heavily. But with such a brave venture before that, I 
can't imagine he'd lie about it. So I suggest you hire someone to investigate whether the story is true or not. I want to set the record straight. Rather than watch him drink his life away. Okay, so this is a stupid easy quest. Probably the easiest of all three dragon quests, which is ironic given it's the hardest one. Head up to the Sandy Barrens, head down the floor, go two spots up from where Crotagul spawns. Crotagul is, uh, unfortunately back, though. You're not gonna turn around and fight me, are you? No, good. Do you continue through the lemon? Then feel a chilling breeze from beneath. Look below you, find some great earth breathing the area around you. Dig up and discover it to your horror, it's a frozen severed human arm. And there's a lot of floor we haven't been to. Do you hold it and discuss you hear a strange cry echo through the current floor? You must as tense as the sound of the blood curdling cry, but but it fades away. Holy cow. Could this be the last time the man claims to fight the blue dragon? Yeah! I think it is! Because I played this game before. Well, I haven't played this quest before, so that's not a great argument. Why does the echoing cry? Your experience in these matters tell you you must pursue things like that. That you must pursue things further would, or tells you that you pursue things further would be dangerous. She brought back to Edgar with the end. Here's his arm! <laughs> That's a sentence I didn't expect to say. Period. On this channel. You hand over the... Item. Yes, item. Probably the best way. Oh my, you found the frozen arm? You know, that's a much calmer reaction than I expected. Also, why did I put arms? I thought there were multiple, which is why I didn't know which one. Claim that the blue dragon could control Blizzard. Is that actually true? This sounds serious. I can't look into myself. I'll ask rather for the guidance. So in the absence of the chieftain, there may be there been a pretty sorry crew. So I better ask them then to take something like that on all by itself. Now you know me you'll find anything out, but first, I better show this to our client. Well you immediately figured out the Azure Colossus! The Cold Blood Dragon exists and has been confirmed on on Basement 15. It's up to you to carry out my vengeance. One thousand, uh, uh, one hundred, oh, one hundred thousand and reward. Then take on that. Have you? I'm glad you'll be the one handling this one. I asked Vanya to check into the instant with our one arm flying, and they acted quickly. Real quick, I gotta check my. Oh no, I did just turn off my fan. <laughs> Don't mind that. Oh, I, I just turned them back off! <laughs> there we go! Fan on full! <laughs> fan problems aside, let's go! I told them about the vast space around the smaller island on the 15th floor. Could that be where the blue dragon lived? But no one's found a way there from the 15th floor. You might have to touch another floor. But as the best game, the fortune floor, and they don't have enough men to touch the 16th. Could be a full weapon, but I'd like you to get to investigate the 16th floor. No guarantee the path to dragons there. Be careful. Anyway. So, I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared for this one. This is the hardest of the three dragons, as far as I can tell. Again, I haven't personally fought them yet, but... Mm. Also, second time is too for boss gonna be fought. We're gonna be found by, uh... Going up this way. I 
Okay, just... Oh, you don't instant kill. Well, I really should actually be using, uh... Yeah! Because... A hundred steps of less encounters is... Well, actually, very good. Right, given I don't... Have... Any reason to fight anything except for certain very specific enemies that we're not fighting today. Yeah, I'm coming up this side just to the top. Oh, hey, it's on. It's an undiscovered route, and B, it's somewhere that we can just check out and see. It's the fastest way to like where we're going. We can now go in here. Something not possible before. That was stupid easy. <laughs> what the heck? Why was that so easy to just make my way around these guys? Wow. Uh, that's kind of sad, actually. Well, uh, bye. And hello, map. Because I need to see where the flip I'm going. Oh, this is another loop. Okay, I think I have most of the loop. Oh, hi. I'm pretty sure these are sick words, but I don't really care. I'm really not feeling up to fight right now. Also, I don't really have a reason to fight anything anymore, except anything that will drop something that will get me one of the best weapons. But none of these are any of those enemies. So, where do I go? Okay, we go... Take this path, not the next one. The next one is just a test. I really don't care about. This is a confusing... Confusing maze. I mean, I guess it is a lab. Shouldn't be too surprised by that. Uh... You are not gonna come for me. Poor word choice. You're not gonna come after me trying to kill me like I thought you were. Uh... Oh, now you are. Yeah, I don't really care if you chase after me now, because I am at the stairs. You have got to be kidding me. They got to move closer, you gotta be kidding. Oh my god, that was. Nick dice. I I'll take it. Sure. Thank God, I think. Don't care. Get me the heck out of here. I totally used the wrong marker back there. Yep. Okay, go oh, real quick. So, uh, now we're gonna open up the map of where we are now because, yeah, another bunch of Dead ends! Annoying! Stuff I really don't want to deal with. And, uh, we're gonna use another one of these just so we don't get into encounters, because they no longer matter, and this is just fifth floor enemies again. 
In fact, I don't know why I didn't have these kind of enemies on the last floor. Kind of would have made more sense, actually. Okay, this is just a U. Oh, wait, what is still... This is... That's sad. I've been dealing with much stronger stuff for a long time. Like, this, you're not doing this. Like, you can't do this after the fourth floor. This is post-game exclusive. What the heck? Nick, why? Why do this? Nick's not that. My other... I really don't get it. I thought there were fifth floor enemies here. Here, not this fourth floor stuff that we've been dealing with for much longer. I gotta go down now. Uh, crap. Now I'm gonna go back to work, because I did mention before we're just gonna run. I'm an idiot. Well, I always try to watch what the I'm trying to again. But it's not like you can really do much damage. To me right now. Ah, crap, my phone! <laughs> my back! My phone! My note! My everything! I think that's helping me the series, really. Well, at least on my end. Right now, not the locked door, it's back to the door. I suppose it doesn't really matter. And who that the chest? I don't really want it bad enough to, you know, come back for it, but, like, still a it. It wasn't in there, actually. Exam for free. Not worth it. Not in my, at least in my opinion. Oh, right, immediately another door. Wait, aren't there a we standing around here? Oh, right, they only appear when you get into a fight. I should get this encounter out of the way. You gotta do two fights nearby, or two times a battle nearby to make the FOEs in the next room spawn and the terror liches, and I've already taken out more than enough. Oh, what the? F Let's get the crap out of me! Why are you alive? That sentence? I didn't expect to say either. But no, seriously, why are you alive? You're supposed to be in the ground! You're not supposed to be out yet! <laughs> I took this map up, why? Like, I did the reason! Why are you here? Why are you here? Legitimate question, why are you here? Spring doesn't gonna be too bad, but I still want none going into the fight ahead. Still prepared to have none happen. Yeah, these are directly noted to only spawn after two turns of battle nearby. And that's even not even true because three turns just passed and the second one in the last room didn't even spawn. Bravery. Fall on. Give me a minute.
Okay, well, uh, it should die next turn. It didn't die next turn. Ruby Bone, that's new. Then then get out of here. Oh! So you continue down the frozen path, a biting storm awakes as you pass the final door. In the center of the storm, a dragon encased in that... In gone. It's that blue wing, blue wing spread threateningly. Ready to uh, kill you. Put simply. And very bluntly. I didn't read that crap. The Drake Master of Blizzard's house before you. Did you turn to face this fiend? So, the step four. Can I get an encounter real quick? No, no encounters in this room. Okay, okay. Well, I guess we do. I guess. Oh uh, yeah. I I don't know why I'm so scared. Actually, I'm already very specifically. Okay, I just had to double check that this wasn't like much. No, I very specifically have checked what it does. Like, I very specifically plan to use uh peace spells for TP regen. I'm an idiot and forgot to put the Obra in the front. Kill me. Thank you. That's a sentence I didn't expect to say. Cause yeah, the Obra. You. Please do big damage. Please don't make this all be a waste. Please don't tell me I should have gone with the pure support bill. Oh, that was originally planning at one point. So, Ice Wall, this is going to heal us instead of kill us. Let's get into what this thing does. It's a force weak to fire, resistance to physical, and volt. Dance status effect and binds and is immune to ice and death, just like the. Fire Dragon was just which ice and fire. It has frigid, use its head and will kill you without anti cold. Ice lands. Use its arms, very high ice damage that pierces anti cold. Oh crap, I do not have the. I don't have the energy. I don't have the boost. It should be fine for one, right? I should be able to survive one. Without boosting in my mind. Also, it has zero point. Uses on um, high ice damage to the patty with a chance of instant death. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, Ice Lance pierced its anti cold slash ice wall. So, uh, um, yeah. Can't use that. You gotta use a boosted up immunized block. Anyway, ice block uses the lags to boost resistance to fire and physical damage, so we're gonna be charging that a lot in regen. Use his head. And his above. That will recover a hundred one thousand seven hundred and fifty HP every turn! Oh my god, this thing gets so much worse than it was oh my This thing's just the worst. Its buffs are annoying. I think it's actually more because ah my I, I my head said I was untangling my phone's wire charging cord whatever charging cord is actually more correct with my wire the wire of my headset ah uh, please let the glow immunize be enough to survive. I mean, if not, I have, like, I have a plan B. Continue spamming that. Catalyst is coming out! We're gonna bravery, because, yes, Peace Ballad is the first buff, so we're going to, uh, on Catalyst's next turn, set up the blaze, remove the Peace Ballad, because we, if we really need recovery, I got a buttload of Hamados now. Oh, crap. 
we cannot can't even touch it with this. Add up. Dang. Okay, erasure. We got to erase. Actually, I should not set up the blaze because I should just be spamming erasure every turn. Well, actually, that's not really true. It's gonna buff no matter. Actually, no. This. No, it's gonna buff, and damn, we're gonna use a razor if we do that. Dang it. Oh no, it is gonna go first. Okay, so we gotta spam a razor every turn. And until we can replace that box with boosted versions. Because, like, this isn't gonna. In fact, I think we're making more. Then we're defending on this. Ah, crap. Uh, actually, this should be fine. I should have a turn. It should be. I can't. I can't. I can't do that on the same turn. Crap. But what I can do is a boost. No, I can't. No, I can't. Can't do that yet. Ooh, thank you for the healing, because I'm spamming that any turn anyway, so other than its piercing attack, it can't hurt us. Boosted Frost, here we go. Continue to spam Ice Wall. Catalyze. Uh, he's gonna fill up on boost long before it goes again. Do I need to refresh the buff again? Yeah, it's not allowed to have buffs now! I say screw your buffs! I say oh no! That's not great. But you know what? Uh... Better bravery. I'm gonna take a turn to set up a better bravery. Because we're out damaging its healing by a decent amount. Large amount, even. Razor. Multi hit. Ooh! Oh, well, so much! Oh, that is so much damage. Oh, no. I gotta give up a damage for a turn. And we're gonna, I'm going to give up a lot more damage just to guarantee that goes out first. Wait, no, it was going to do that no matter what. I really shouldn't have done this. I should also be looking at what turn it is, because I'm a flipping idiot. Oh, I am really a flipping idiot, because I didn't refresh in my eyes. So we got a first turn again. Just to guarantee this comes out. Boosted him, you mice, baby. Okay, this is meant to be the hardest one, but it might actually end up being the easiest. I mean, even if it is, like, we're gonna need these electors for, well, something else coming up, as we're gonna need these boosted him, you mice, anyway. The only missed I actually might say sell, though. Not save. Okay, a paw on. Just keep it buffed down. I couldn't really do that in the last time because boss it, last time I faced this guy in the third game because boss don't blast you, you boss blast and death. But also this thing is uh, on every first turn and every fourth. It's breath move on first turn and every fourth turn after that. Same as the fire dragon. Completely forgot to mention that. It's only the dragon slash storm emperor that does that every time. But yeah, Blizzard King is this thing's modern name. I believe I may have said, like, Blizzard Emperor, and if I did, I'm wrong. But, uh, yeah, no, this guy's, this guy's going down really fast. Uh, immunize this next time. This... Could be a turn I can save for attack, but I'm gonna erasure anyway just to stay safe. 
because I don't want a healing because I'm pretty sure a healing buff works the same way as Golem where it's gonna heal itself out of death. Uh, it's probably not gonna get to the point of another Apollo on landing, but just in case. And oh crap! 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 crap. I got a gas. I don't know if it's gone for absolute zero at all this fight, actually. Keep a race ring. And we actually are gonna get to see that fall on drop. Oh my god, it didn't die from it. Ow. It died. Thank you. Frostbone. And the full on items! Victorious against two rank. Oh, I just realized why my inventory is so full of crap. Uh, yeah, it's the Alexas. The Alexas I'm gonna have to just kind of or store better. I'm gonna have to store all of... Uh, I should be able to... Actually, now I can just... So we're gonna store all of those, make this up some space. I think it's the first time I've used the storing mechanic. It's generally not that good, that's why. Uh, how about this? I already know what it would be was. I'm just kind of curious. Oh! That might be the best usable katana. I gotta double check that. Yes, it is. It, okay, let me quickly explain. The best katana in the game is the Martha Moon. The Master Moon is obtained from the drop from the hardest boss in the game, the last boss that you ever fight, and the one we're doing in three episodes. For, not including this one. However, you kinda only want the ultimate weapons before the final boss. So. This is the effective best weapon. The effective best katana outside of New Game Plus. Doesn't really matter since, well, I highly doubt you're using one of these. Also, I just really. Wait. No, we didn't. Did we actually get the rare drop on the dragon? I never realized. No, we. Huh. I'm confused now. Because the Volt Whip has gotten from the Storm Emperor plus Dragon. That's how you make the best. So, did we not get the drop from the Dragon? Or did we get the rare drop? Up that we need for the best sword. That's gonna be a question for me to figure out later. Because that's gonna be all for today's episode, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Where well, we're going- I didn't turn into Quest, wait! <laughs> well, boy, I almost forgot to turn into Quest! Final Quest, here you go! I'd say give me an achievement, but I'm not playing on Steam. Welcome back, kid. So, that blue dragon really did exist? Well, I guess it doesn't anymore, huh? I about all these dreadful monsters, but also by my how strong you've become. I'll put you for victory to Rata Hall. Bet you're exhausted. Here, have some tea and relax a while. So, next episode, we are going to do a lot of work. We're going to be getting all of the ultimate armors, and, or at least going over how to get all of the ultimate armors and weapons. Am I actually gonna get all the ultimate armors and weapons? No. Because I don't need all of them. I need the ones for the classes I have. So, uh... Yeah. But regardless, 
that's going to be for next episode. I'll see you all then. Bye-bye!